Hey everyone, it's David here. Today I'm gonna to show you clips of a past interview I've had with someone who's been extremely successful in the business, does tens of thousands of dollars a month in the business. So I invite you to watch this interview and do me a favor, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go and sub subscribe. If this is helpful, give me a like and I'll see you around. Thank you. I wanna welcome Rose to this interview and Rose, thank you for being here. Rose, when did you start the program? I started late. March, actually. Okay, so you started in the last week of March, and we're right now the very first day of December. How many deals would you say you've done, roughly, on an estimate? How many yeses or how many deals? How many deals have you done? Um, I probably got about 35, I believe, 35 on my deals? own. Yeah, yeah, 35 deals, because I just started doing the tax, so I got more there, so I'm rough rough balling 35 to 40 around there. Would you, um, would you consider yourself successful? Absolutely. I'm, you know, absolutely successful. Yes. I do consider myself successful. So do we, that's why we're doing this interview. What are you best at in surplus funds? And this doesn't have to be like necessarily tax overages or, or bankruptcies, but what are you best at, um, within within the surplus funds? I believe I am best at communication and actually connecting to people. Um, that's what I think that's my forte is just making the connection um, with the people. And I guess my niche um, would be bankruptcies. I am really good at bankruptcies. Um, I just I just learned, I just started clicking on everything that I could and just kind of soft learning, soft taught on that, um, on that aspect of bankruptcies, actually. And you've done very well with that. It's been exciting to see how you've done and how many deals you've worked and life you've brought to the program on that. And I know you've even helped out other people with that. What are you confident about in life? I'm actually confident about myself. I know myself and I know where I want to go. I know that just my confidence in myself gives me the ability to do what I need to do to accomplish it, actually. And I see you confident. I love the way like sometimes people don't get you contracts back and you're saying, I'm calling that person. I'm getting the contracts back right now. And I'm sitting in the notary. You've done very well with that. And that's, that's been um, really good to watch. And, and I see you having that aggressive. And I, I see other warriors with the same and, and I'm trying to pull out some similarities of, of successful warrior scalers in the program. And I definitely see that in all of you. What are your goals? I believe my goals is um, to help as many people as I can. Um, you know, I really thrive on helping people and just really kind of giving back. When I hear some stories um, of where the people are in their current situation, it kind of makes me want to do it more. <laughs> Um, how about, you know, many people, and that's what it's all about. I mean, really love helping out people. Like yesterday, I re um, somebody had reached back out to me and um, she was saying, you know what, I have three siblings, two got deported back to Jamaica. I'm having to do, you know, four jobs to support the ones that got deported. And she goes, and I'm not even the eldest. I have no, you know, I haven't had any vacation time. And, you know, I really need to work four jobs. And I said, listen, after I get those contracts back, how about I'll send you on a paid vacation on me? So I offered her and I'm going to pay for it, not the air. So I told her you got to get there, but I will give you a vacation, hotel vacation. And she was so thrilled. She almost started crying. And um, awesome. you, honestly, I love it. You know, I love it. Even if it's on me, you know, somebody, when you hear stories like that, you really want to reach out to the person, kind of get to their level, see where they're at, you know, and I, you know, that's, you know, that's all that I want to do is honestly, um, honestly, I want to make a living on top of that. That's just the icing on the cake. Yeah. Well, and I see you enjoying this too. It's like a business and I, I've had people that have broken down crime when they've received checks or I've seen people handed checks and they're for very large amounts and they're like, wow, this is real. Cause you know, we get so many calls throughout the day on these little scam calls about, you know, your car warranty or the IRS or th there, there's a million other ones out there. And it's, it's like, really, what are you going to think of next people? I'm sure they'll have something. And then you're calling with someone and basically your script is telling people that they have money that they didn't know they have, or they, they know they have it and they haven't collected it. And we're trying to convince them to go with us. And, and collect the money. And yeah, I just see that in you. Like I see that drive and I, I love that. So a hundred percent. What would you say keeps you up at night? Um, I actually, nothing keeps me up at night actually, because 
I, you know, I know where I stand personally. I'm very honest. Um, you know, I, I, as soon as I hit the pillow, I'm actually gone. I have <laughs> no problems whatsoever. You know, I, you know, as long as I can help one person a day, you know, I'm really happy to do that. Um, nothing keeps me up at night. I'm, I, you know, I'm pretty honest. I got my faith in God and, um, you know, and that's, you know, that's all I live for. And I'm, you know, I'm happy and content with that. And nothing keeps me up at night, believe me. <laughs> okay, very good. And if you don't mind me asking this one, what are you angry at? I'm actually not angry at anything. I'm like a pretty calm person, to tell you the truth. Um, I, I don't get angry easily. You know, the only person that would probably <laughs> bring me to anger and not really just more upset is my child. <laughs> the last one the troublemaker that's the only one you know honestly other than that I really don't you know I really don't get angry and I told my husband I said you know you want a blessed guy because <laughs> 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 I'm pretty even keel you know I'm pretty you know what you see is what you get I'm pretty you know I'm pretty even keel 100 percent 100 percent what drives you to success I believe seeing others prosper you know, I, I love to see others prosper, you know, because a lot of these people that I'm reaching out to, they really need the funds. And if I can help them receive their funds, I mean, that, that's all it takes, you know, all it takes to put a smile on me because some of the stories that I've heard, it's very saddening just to give them a little something to smile about. Mm -hmm. It's great. So what I like is for me, the success in this business, yeah, I'm making money and, and we're all out to make money, but you're in the people helping business. And I, I hear you, I've heard you say that throughout this entire um, interview is, is that you're helping people. You've helped people in the program. You've helped your, your clients. It helps you sleep at night. And I, I love that. Have you had a situation happen where there's someone who you absolutely can't help or get them the help they need? And if so, what do you do in that situation? There is a few contracts that kind of fell through the cracks and they really needed the funds and you know I had to phone them up and tell them hey listen you know um it you know you owe the irs or these funds belong to the ex-wife i mean the the wife at the time not you know, not you and just different situations and you know i kind of feel bad there's nothing for me to offer them but my my sympathy actually to sympathize with them and you know I get down you know like because I know if you know I was somebody phoned me up and say hey listen you have funds and then it got rejected how would I feel so I kind of put myself into the their shoes and kind of have some empathy there for them 100 percent what do you desire most to get out of this business what I desire more um I, I don't want to sound you know, repetitive, but um, just helping people along the way, honestly, mm -hmm. you know, you know, as I rise, I like to see other people rise with me. Last question, and you've been great here, and I, I so much appreciate this, is where do you see yourself in one year, five years, and 10 years from now? I actually see myself doing the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just um, money wise, um, I guess scaling, probably hiring a little bit more assistance to help me along the way, because I think that's a great other avenue to bring in other income aside from me, myself working it. It's nice that I have two assistants now, but it would be good to get more assistance on and, you know, that way we're able to have more revenue and then obviously help more people. All right. Well, Rose, that was it. You've been great in the program. And what you said a lot, and one of the things I, I appreciated about what I saw you do is like, you went into an area where it was our least experience, like, you know, tax overages and mortgage overages and even state funds, we know fairly well. But when you were going into bankruptcies, I mean, we've, I've assisted with bankruptcies, but one of the things I appreciate about you is you, you know, you asked a lot of questions, but then you went ahead and followed through, like you called the courts, you found the contracts, you looked at the contracts. If I recall right, you did a couple small deals in the beginning and then you went I ahead did. and worked your way up from there, which I, I love it when people do that. I know you've had deals all over the chart and I just love the way that you've worked the business and you've, you've done fairly well with it. And yeah, I could definitely tell you enjoy it. Is there anything you would recommend to anyone that's starting this business that you haven't already said in this interview? I think the biggest game changer was getting a coach. I mean, I think that I started with, um, the, the first one, the, the, the surplus I started then. And then, um, I think it was a week later. It's like, you know what? 
uh, I really need to get myself into scale. It's not when I, you know, I wasn't doing anything, but I believe my success is due to having a coach. Um, uh, and honestly, I don't think I would be where I am if I didn't have that one-on-one -on -one coaching to begin with. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that that's important because if you see any great players out there, whatever team or whatever sport they're playing, everybody has to get a coach. Everybody gets a coach. And once they get a coach, you see them excel um, of whatever sport that they're doing or whatever, whatever they're doing, like boxers, basketball players, football players, everybody has a coach you know it's it's important to have one um to help you go to the next level absolutely 100 percent. well hey rose um yeah i really appreciate your time thank you for doing this thank you everyone and thank you for watching rose and thank you for um thank you for your time